Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kriti Tiwari, and we are doing a series of World Watercolor Month. And today is our day eight. For day eight, we are painting a very simple beachscape painting. So let's get started. So I was thinking about having like a sky on the top, then the sea, foam here, and then this this would be a sand, uh, the beach sand. Okay. So to make it like an even um, separation for the sky and the sea, I was thinking about using this masking tape. Okay. Okay. So we'll just use it and make sure it is like straight and then the same line okay and then we'll do the sky on top and then followed by the sea the foam the water and, and the sand okay so we'll start by wetting the paper If you are new here, please do check out my previous tutorials. So we have already covered day 1 to 7 and this is our day 8. We will be doing 3 more paintings for this week. Then we will take a break for 2 days and then uh, we will resume the next week. Okay. So I have wet my paper and uh, what I am going to use is now ultramarine blue for the sky. right and then we'll start from the top and just come like do a graded wash right yeah that's it yes yeah, so we're not doing anything fancy on the sky area just keeping it simple if you think it has become too light and then you want to add more color this time i'm mixing it with cerulean blue a little bit and then I'm adding from the top and then pulling again down. The color might change because we added cerulean blue in it. Okay. Now because this area is wet and if I remove the tape here, all the colors will flow down which I don't want. I need a nice segregation of the colors. So we'll cover this bottom part now and then once this is dried enough we'll come from like do the sea and travel down okay so i'm just wetting this whole area as well so make sure you are like uh, following these tutorials and even if you don't have much time right i think these tutorials are very quick and easy to do along so take some time out from your busy schedule try to say carve some time out for yourself you would be able to do and then enjoy this for the sand part i'm mixing yellow ochre with my burnt sienna and and then doing it on top of this uh, wet paper right so we have already wet the bottom part yeah see okay then once this is dry we'll add a shadow here underneath and then so right now what i want is i want to dry my paper so there are like multiple ways that you can dry your paper like natural ways and then if you are in hurry you can also use um, hair dryer to dry it uh, for the natural look of the sand i'm also dropping burnt sienna here and there uh, to give it as a natural impact right so when you like put your feet on the ground on the sand the sand goes inside and then there's a depth that is created there right 
so yeah so by dropping these colors we are trying to replicate some of those aspects and i'm also dropping this uh, granulated bone sienna from daniel smith um, to give the whole thing a little bit of texture okay okay so now i'll will just dry this out and then we'll resume again and do the c part so my paper is dried now and i'm going to remove this tape so we got a clear sheen right now what you can do is you can use another masking tape or maybe use the same tape to put it up above right where the segregation is created because most of the time when i go with like directly by a brush it can get lost uh, but you should also build the practice of doing it without masking tape i usually don't put masking tape but uh, i also wanted to show you guys as and how this can be achieved um so yeah so i'm just you like leaving a bit of a gap and then put a fresh masking tape on top of it and then we are going to do this part so to do this part also i'm going to wet my paper see now as soon as i touch that it's going to go like flow downwards okay the color will start flowing downwards okay so now i'm going to use my indigo mix with my aqua blue to form on a very nice turquoise blue color okay and we are going to use that to paint the sea and again it's a graded wash so we'll start from here and then we come all the way down now at this stage i'm going to just wash my brush and drag whatever is at the bottom okay and i'm going to just go up on the sand area as well and drag everything upwards okay so we just trying to blend both of them so that's the mixture of the two colors so one color two color and then that's the mixture okay okay so now you can leave like this or you can add some ripples on on this one so yeah so let's do that so you can use persian blue or indigo to do this Whatever I think, just like too much, I'm gonna just blend in. Okay, so we'll have to dry this one, and then we'll add the foam and the other things. Okay, so this is done, and now we want to add some foam to it. So I'm gonna use my white gouache, okay, to make that. Uh, there's another tutorial on my page where I'm using wax. to create the foam so i have not used any white gouache so you can check that out as well okay so so i'm going to just do it here like follow a line like a pattern or something zigzag wavy lines right okay and yeah then we just
I'm mostly doing it like a dry brushing here, right? So, and then I'm gonna add like few lines here in the water that would actually like change the whole view, right? And it looks good. Now, what we want to add do next is add like the shadow area at the bottom of this baby foam. So for this one, I'm gonna take my bond sienna with a little bit of raw umber. Okay, and so pretty thick color. Okay, not like a very thick quantity. And then we'll go ahead and then do a border. Yes. So we are doing a very thin border okay. across this. As soon as you do, you will notice that there is a huge, uh, it, it gives a huge difference and a depth to the sea because then it looks like the water is actually coming, right? It creates a lot of uh, difference and then what you can do is like here and there maybe we can drop some sticks or sticks right so like some sticks or, or branches of the trees are fallen or something like that so we can just leave two things here and there some dots right? and this particular step that i'm doing is completely optional if you feel like doing then only you do it and don't do it <laughs> so you should be called for doing such things right so you should like get the feeling from inside you know no i want to do that so yeah but if you're not getting that then yeah I'm just refrain from doing okay so now i'm gonna just sign it so okay we are done with our day eight wonderful thank you so much everyone for joining me here on this journey on my day 8 so there will be i'm guessing about 20 paintings that we will end up doing by the whole month right so yeah so happy so if you are liking and enjoying and you're really doing the artworks then please do share your work with me you can chat with me on instagram and tag me if you share this on your stories i would be happy to be shared so here it is our day 8 week cake thank you guys